Hey guys, welcome back to the Rome vlog. Today we are going to be making a different variety of pasta dishes. Um, we're gonna make some amacho shana, some carbonara, and some cacio e pepe risotto. These are three main dishes of Rome. Um, and besides the cacio e pepe, um, they usually use spaghetti, but we're gonna make a risotto version. Or a little twist. Yes. Or so Amanda's twist. Mix it up a little, it's really good. Um, so we're actually gonna go shopping at the grocery store and then come back here and make everything so you can see the process and make it yourselves at home. Yeah, so come with us. We're gonna bring you to the grocery store. Let's go. Woo, andiamo. What grocery store are we going to, Amanda? Simply. Hell yeah. Simply simple. Okay, cream cheese, one euro. Please. Shout out to my hometown, Philly. Woo. All right, you lead the way. <laughs> and if you've never seen an Italian grocery store, here's your chance. All right, we've got our little rolling cart, and here we go. Fresh fruit, nice and cheap. Do you have our shopping list so we know what to get? Yes. Here we go, we got it all. This is for the Amatriciana. Uh, this is for the Carbonara. Fun fact, they don't refrigerate the eggs here. Oh yeah, that's a good thing to do. What, we have our eggs here? All right, fresh oh, eggs, fresh warm eggs. Yeah. only one here. All right, we're good time, right? Yep. Should we get that one or should we get the Meza? I like the Meza like too. And we're back. We got banned from filming in the grocery store. <laughs> we were told to turn it off, so. Yeah, we got Sorry yeah. about it, but we're walking back to Amanda's apartment and we're going to cook, all right? Let's go. Look at the happy shopper. <laughs> okay, so not only did they halt production on our filming. Yeah. They sold us moldy cheese. Yeah, the cheese is moldy. Yeah, we're gonna go to a cheese shop real Should quick. We really can go. Like, you think we need it? Yeah. <laughs> we need cheese, right? Looks amazing. All right, so we have our ingredients here. Yes. The only thing else that we needed was garlic, and we're cutting it up now. All right, so step one for Amatriciana is boiling some water. <laughs> and you just put a little oil. Okay, so now we're just gonna let it cook. Yep, sizzle, sizzle. And we'll get back to you. All right, so we just added the garlic. Stir it up a little. Smells good already. Kyle and I like our pancetta a little bit more crispy. Yeah, we do it well done around here. If you find a matcha shana out in Rome, usually they make it with guanciale, which is pork cheek. That's because um, in past, times in Roman history, a lot of the cooking was peasant food, and so uh, workers working in the uh, meat factories would get like kind of the leftovers of the meat, so they would use the pork cheek to make the matrashana, which is a little bit fattier, but that's still traditionally used in all the restaurants in Rome. But we're going with the pancetta because it's a little crispier and less fatty, and it's more, uh, it's easier to find in stores. 
having a little bit of Prosecco before our cooking our food because every day in Rome is a party. Mm. Okay, so how I like to measure the amount of pasta is I just pour it in a bowl. Usually when people eat a bowl of pasta, we're going to split a bowl tonight, but just pour it in the water. It's boiling. We already added some salt to it. Voila! And here we have the cooked uh, pancetta. And we're just going to add added the garlic. Yeah, the garlic's in there. And then we're going to add some sauce. After that. Okay, so we just added the sauce. We're gonna let that warm up a little bit. We drained the pasta already. It's coming up soon. We'll show you the final product in just a minute here. Yay! Okay, so one ingredient we forgot is you're supposed to put a little splash of white wine in with the sauce. <laughs> so we're opening a whole new bottle of wine for the little splash. Oh, we'll drink it eventually. Yeah, we'll be drinking it soon here. All right, here we go. Mmm. Get every drop. <laughs> First bite. <laughs> Perfect. Mm. Okay, so next up on our list is carbonara, my personal favorite. So, we start similar to the Amatriciana, a little different, but we're starting with bacon, or as they call it, pancetta. This one's a little different, like we said in the grocery store, I'm using a different one here, but it's the same idea. I'm gonna fry it up, just add some black pepper. All right, so now we'll make the, I guess it's called sauce, carbonara sauce. So you put the egg in, again, a little bit of black pepper, not a lot, unless you like a lot. A little bit of cheese. And then you just mix it all up together. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Yes, it does, so. So concentrated. I know, right? Gotta get the perfect texture here. And now we just wait for everything to cook. And we'll show you the next step in just a couple minutes here. So we're using spaghetti this time. Switch it up. For the carbonara. And should be ready soon. All right, so the pasta's cooked. We have in the bowl here. You're gonna pour the egg sauce over top. Start stirring it just a little bit, and then get the bacon in it. Um, we don't need to use all those. Huh? Sorry, no. Just a little. And then just stir it all in. Focus mixer yet again. Yeah, this is like the skinny girl portion. <laughs> just a sample taste. It's good, just what we need. Alrighty. We're about to plate and enjoy. Mm-mm-mm, looks good. First bite. I'm With, slow twirling, sorry. We're gonna use it for the thumbnail. Mmm. How is it? Good? Delish. All righty. We're it, back for more. Yes, we are. So now we're gonna make the cacio e pepe risotto. And we're starting by melting some butter in a pan. Yeah, I don't even know how to make this. This is like a cooking lesson lesson for me. At the time, make sure you have some broth. Um, I usually make it myself. You just pop one of these cubes into like a pan of water, like the same size as the pasta pan we were using, um, and it melts. Uh, and then you have this broth that you can use. Um, since I already had some made from before, I just am going to use that for now. But you can also buy just like um, chicken broth or like stock in the market already in liquid form so you wouldn't have to make it but we're going to use this kind because that's what i have and i've been using and i think it tastes good yeah so let's let the butter melt for a second 
So now we pour a, um, as much risotto as we want into the dish. So we don't really want to make a lot because we're stuffed. <laughs> For the last two dishes we just had. And you want to stir it into the butter just so that it becomes like a little bit crispy. If you want to like zoom in a little and see like how it's coming like a little darker in color uh, from the butter. So that's good. That's what you want. And right when it becomes kind of all the same shade, you're going to start to add the chicken broth. Yeah, so you just take a big scoop of the broth. And you put it in. Whoa. And a little more. Well, listen to the simmer. And then you, the thing with risotto is that you have to be kind of patient because you have to constantly stir it or it'll get burnt or stick to the bottom of the pan. So it's kind of a process, but it takes about like 15 minutes in total and it's really, really good. So you just gotta keep stirring though. Stir, stir, stir. So once you get to this point, you have to keep adding the broth so that essentially the broth will be cooking the risotto and like soaking in so it kind of disappears into the risotto, gives it the flavor. And so you have to keep adding it until the, uh, what's the word? <laughs> until the toughness of the risotto is how you like it. Done, we just finished cooking it off. And now, to make the cacio e pepe, so risotto you can kind of make it anyway, this is the risotto base, but today we're making the cacio e pepe risotto. And so you literally just dump some cheese <laughs> um, into the risotto. Oh my god, it's looking cheesy. Yeah, cheesier the better. Sorry. And then, you mix it on up, let the cheese melt on in to the goodness. Pecorino cheese is like the classic cheese for cacio e pepe. Notice how the portions get smaller each <laughs> dish, we're like so full. And it does smell really good, I will say that. I can like smell the cheesiness yes. cooking in there. So yummy. I'm gonna plate this and then we'll give it a taste. I call first bite. Okay. First bite, let's give it a try. Mmm, that's good. You like it? <laughs> yeah, it's really flavorful. Yay. Especially for rice. Yay. Love that. All right, guys, we are so full, but thank you for watching. Yes. Um, yeah. If you have any questions about the food we made, any suggestions yeah. or anything, anything else you think write we it in make? the comments. Yeah, so just to recap, we made the Amadrashana, the Carbonara, and the Cacio e Pepe. So if you ever are in Rome, definitely try them out at restaurants. Try to make them at home. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Yes, like, like a song. Comment, yeah. Subscribe. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram. <laughs> Ciao, guys. Next, the Rome plug. Till next time. Ciao. Ciao.